Hello and welcome again to Piedmont Business Live. I'm your host, Ken Morrison. Today we're talking to Jeff Foster. He is the president and CEO of Core Technology Molding Corporation. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, thanks for having me. Tell me first, uh, what does Core Technology Molding Corporation do? Sure, so we're a plastic injection molding company and we uh, focus on injection molding for the automotive, medical, biological, pharmaceutical, appliance, consumer goods markets. So we take a raw resin, um, heat it up, turn it into a finished product, and we ship um, all over the world to five continents. So put that in, in uh, terms for, for the amateur like me. When you say injection molding, we're talking about plastics? Correct. So we're taking a raw plastic resin BBs and turning them into a finished good for an automobile or for a medical device. Okay. So what markets do you compete in and who are some of your customers? Right. So in the biological, pharmaceutical, one of our customers is Merck with the vaccines division. We have a class 10,000 and class 1,000 medical clean room. Um, Altria is another um, in the medical device. For automotive, it's BMW. Um, we ship directly to BMW in South Carolina as well as Germany, China, Russia, and South Africa. So we make parts for X3, X4, and X5. We also make consumer goods markets for new rubber made. So we make the take along snackers. And you'll see them in the Walmart, Target, Sam's Clubs all over the world. We make appliance parts. We compete in um, with Kenmore, KitchenAid, Electrolux, uh, Whirlpool. We make outdoor lawn equipment for Husqvarna. So, you know, we have a really diverse portfolio in several different markets. And with that diversity, you really have to be on top of your game in so many different ways because these manufacturers rely on you to make these specific products. And, and what you make for one isn't applicable to another. So you really have to be an expert in your field. That's right, because there's so different different markets and they see value in different things. Some in price, all of them want high quality, but um, cleanliness for the medical um, cost with the automotive has to be very competitive. So we use a lot of automation to make our business model more efficient. And what impresses me too, is you were telling me a while back about the clean room and uh, the pharmaceutical companies and that sort of thing rely on obviously an extremely clean product and it has to come from a clean environment. And that speaks volumes about your company that you can provide that service to them. Right, so I think that's made us more attractive where well, with the clean room environment, um, we're able to repeatedly provide a clean product, a sterile product. Um, the product we produce touches 25 million babies annually. Wow. So it's very important, especially with a vaccine, that there's no dust, dirt, contamination in our finished good. So what competitive advantage do you bring, does your company bring? So I think one of them is um, using a lean Six Sigma tools and using automation. Some of the product we're producing was initially slated for China and other low, low cost producing countries. Um, with the robots, with our automation, we're able to take uh, labor out of the cost where that's how China and these other countries are able to compete. Right. So when we use the robots, we, we have 25 people in our facility. Um, we're running 24 seven. However, if we didn't have, did not have the robotics, we would have 100 people. So the robots just take the labor out and it keeps our costs down. And that's really our competitive advantage. Okay. So what markets do you see more growth for your company in the next three to five years? Sure, in the next three to five years, I think we'll continue to see the automotive, but the automotive, you know, it goes through a recession um, every couple of years. However, the medical, the biological, pharmaceutical is the one where with the uh, aging baby boomers, mm -hmm. um, but the medical, that market is really growing and it's gonna to continue to grow um, with the aging population. Um, everyone wants to live longer, live right. healthier, and we're able to provide products from vaccines for babies, as well as other medical devices for cornea transplant, so people have vision longer. So we're able to provide all of that in our clean room, and that's where we see the most, most growth um, over the next three to five years. And you see your business getting exponentially bigger over that time? Yes, so we doubled last year in 2016 and we'll wow. double again this year. 
based on the contracts we've already signed. Um, even in the gaming, uh, we're making product for X4, I'm sorry, PS4 and Xbox One wow. um, gaming products. So we'll see those volumes growing. We'll do about 3 million thumbsticks this year. Wow. That's amazing. So you guys doubled last year? Correct. And expect to double again this year? We'll double again in 2017 based on the new contracts we've already signed. That's fantastic. That, that really is a testament to a successful business model and successful business practices. And that, you Thank should you. be extremely proud of that. Thank you. We are. Very, thank you. Uh, what ways are you guys touching the community with your company? So we are Guilford County's STEM partner for advanced manufacturing. So we invite students, we invite parents, we invite teachers, principals to bring their students in and see advanced manufacturing. I think a lot of the students might not know exactly what they want to do. They might want to be an engineer. They, and sometimes their parents might discourage them from manufacturing. They hear manufacturing in North Carolina. They say, oh no, you don't want to get involved in manufacturing. But seeing the advanced manufacturing, seeing the, uh, the clean room where they gown up and they get to go into our clean room environment and they see how clean it is. They also get to see how the calculus, the geometry, the trigonometry has a direct correlation with the robots and the equipment that we're using and a lot of the STEM students get really excited and they say wow this is kind of what we learned in class with the science and the biology and you guys are taking that and making a finished product at the end of the day so you know we have open house and we invite students in and they really uh, see value in it as well as the, um, the teachers so they kind of know what to focus on in their lessons for students who are um, want a STEM career or potentially a STEM career. And that's interesting that you, you say that. Um, I know a lot of parents say 30 years ago, manufacturing of any sort 30 years ago is significantly different than what it is today. That's right. And, and whatever notions we had of it then, if you've not been involved in manufacturing si since then, um, you really don't truly understand it. So that's a terrific thing that you're bringing these young folks in to, to experience it and see it and, uh, and you don't know what what you're inspiring in them. So you may have future engineers that you're touring in your, in your plant. We, we know that we do, and we've actually hired some that have gone um, through college, and now they are looking for careers, and we've hired uh, interns, co-ops, um, some of the same students who were looking for careers. They see that there's value in what they were studying and how it ties together with manufacturing or advanced manufacturing. It's not the same manufacturing from 30 years ago, like you said. Exactly. Jeff, thanks so much for sharing your story with well, us. Thank you. And, and your story of success, that's what this area is all about is, and, and what this show is about is showing how business people start from, from small and just keep growing and being successful. And we thank you for sharing what it is that makes you successful in your company, and we wish you nothing but continued growth and success in the future. Thank you, Ken. Thanks for having us. If you want to learn more about Jeff Foster and Core Technology Molding Corporation, the link to their page is at the end of this video, and it's also at the bottom of this page. So all you have to do is click on it, go to their website, you can learn more about them. Thanks for tuning in to Piedmont Business Live. We'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.